Hello, and welcome back to the Ninox Learning Channel by Nioxis. This is the first video in our new series of videos, the 800 series, where we're going to begin looking at the newest version of Ninox, version 3.3. There are a lot of exciting new features and functions and capabilities, and in this new series of videos, we're going to take a look at each and every one of them, show you how to use them, and how to get the most out of this newest, greatest version of Ninox. We're going to start the series in this video looking at one of the most exciting new components that are available, and that is the dynamic multiple choice field. To understand the power and value of this new object, let's look back and remind ourselves how we built many-to-many -many relationships previously. And if this is a topic that you want to study in great detail, I encourage you to take a look back at our 700.02 video on the Learning Channel where we discuss many-to-many -many relationships in great detail. But just to remind you, we introduced the concept of triangulation. Here we have a very simple database. We can go in and look at the data model and see that the entire thing consists of two tables, no relationships, no joins of any kind. Very simple database. A database of employers, the names of companies, and a database of people, the names of people who could potentially be employees for these companies. Now let's look at the old way of building a many-to-many -many relationship. Let's look at that concept of triangulation. First, we would have to build that third table, that third point in the triangle, and we would call this employees. And this employees table would establish the relationship between employers and the people who work for those employers. Then, to take a look at the data model, we see the three points of the triangle. Now, to do things really correctly, we would take this employee's cross-reference table and we would make it a child, a subtable of the employer table by flipping the composition characteristic back to yes and creating a data model that looks like this. The idea being that if an employer ceased to exist, the employees would no longer be employees, but the people who used to be employees would still exist. Therefore, that cross-reference table, that characteristic table, would be the subtable, the child, but the people table would be a separate stack unto itself. This is how we used to create the relationship where we could go in to a specific company and identify the names of the people who work for that company as you see me doing right there. We go in, we would set our columns to be the name that is in the other table, and there we see it. This company, the Acme Company, has two employees, Frank and Jeff. This is the old way of building many-to-many -many relationships. Let's take a look at the new way that we can build these relationships in the new Ninox 3.3. Now that we have the dynamic choice field, we can effectively build the many-to-many -many relationship without even having to build that third point in the triangle, that cross-reference table. Let me show you how it works, and then let me show you how you can do it in your own database. Here again we see our employers table, and we see all of our employers, but now we have this multiple choice field. This multiple choice field is dynamic, and I'll show you what that means in a moment. But we can go in and indicate that Mr. Smith, Ms. Jones, and Mr. Phillips are all employees of the Acme Company. We then can go in to a particular person's record, say Oscar Phillips, and indicate that they not only work for the Acme Company, but they also have a weekend job working at Howard & Sons Incorporated. Many companies, many people, many employees at the company, many people with many jobs each. The many-to-many -many relationship exists, but as we can see in the data model, no triangulation, no cross-reference table. And when I say that these records, these fields are dynamic, this is what I mean. If we go into the people table and we add a new person, let's say... 
Howard Thompson. And now we go look at the list of available employees. There's Howard Thompson. Dynamic means it is growing, it is adjusting, it is dynamically changing at runtime to reflect the current state of our database. Similarly, if we were to go in and create a new company, and we'll call this the George's company, and we now go look at a record in the people database, sure enough, there's the George's company dynamic interaction between two tables. But again, these two tables have no direct or indirect, no inner or outer join, a list of people, a list of employers, no cross-reference table. Ninox does all of the many-to-many -many referencing for us. This again is a perfect example of what I talked about in the earlier videos here on the Learning Channel. If you know what to do, Ninox will know how to do it. And if you want to have one employer record with many employees or one person's record that has many jobs for many employers, it's now easier than ever. Let's look at how we did it. Let's first build the relationship that allows one employing or employer company to have many employees. We're going to go into the drop-down and select Edit Fields. And we're going to go all the way to the bottom of the Create Field panel to find two new dynamic fields, a single choice and a multiple choice. And we're going to select the multiple choice dynamic field and we're going to name this Employees. And we're going to see that right there. Now the first thing I'm going to do is size it up properly, and the second thing I'm going to do is hide the field label because I have this header right there which gives me a nice big block showing me all the employees below. What we now need to do is indicate where does the content come from? Where is the dynamic, ever-changing live content that is going to be displayed in this dynamic multiple choice field. And we're going to go into the dynamic values characteristic, which opens our code editor, and we're going to use a very simple line of code, select people. These people will populate this employees field. Before we go in and change the format of the field, I also want to point out that we need to define what information in the people table we want to display. We do that using the dynamic value name field. This again will open up our text editor and on the left we see all of the fields in the table that sources the content. These are all of the fields, in this case the one field, in the people's table that is supplying the content. So we're going to show the full name. And finally, we are going to display this as a combo or a drop-down box. And now, after saving our changes, we have a combo box that shows us that. Using one of the other great new features in 3.3.0, we can also go in and display this as radio buttons or a ribbon of buttons, which we call a switch. I'm going to go ahead and use those radio buttons. I like that. And we'll go ahead and size it up that way. Save our changes. That's all there is to it. No third table, no child table, no triangulation. Simply check off the names of the people that work at the George's company. Let's do it again on the other side of the relationship. Here in the people table, we have the names of people. Let's take a look at Howard Thompson. Howard Thompson has three jobs, a day job, a night job, and a weekend job. And all of those jobs, each one is with a different employer. We want to list all of his employers in this area right here. Again, we go into Edit or Administrative Mode, and we add a new field. Go to the bottom, and again drag over a multiple choice dynamic object. I will rename this object Employers. I will 
hide the label, and indicate the source of the dynamic values. That source is the employer's table. So our code block is simply select employers, and we click OK. What information in the employer's table do we want to see? Well, there's two fields. There's the company name field and the employees field. This is the dynamic multiple choice field that we just placed that allows us to see the names of all our employees. We want the company name field to be applied and displayed here in this people table in this dynamic multiple choice field. And sure enough, there it is. And there's all of our information. We size it. We choose our visualization, in this case, a radio button, and we save our changes. And now we can easily indicate that Mr. Thompson works for the Acme Company during the day, Jones Incorporated at night, and the George's Company on the weekend. That's all there is to it. The new table object, the multiple choice dynamic object, completely changes the way we build many-to-many -many relationships. Now, many people can have many jobs, and many companies can have many employees. All thanks to the new dynamic multiple choice field. Try it out in your database. Now you can build more efficient, more sophisticated user experiences, and you can do it even easier using the new Ninox 3.3.0. Come back and join us here on the Learning Channel as we dive into other new features, functions, and powerful capabilities in this newest and greatest version of Ninox. Thanks very much for joining me. I hope you'll come back again soon. Go out and build yourself a great database. Bye-bye.